The Reserve Bank of Australia has left the cash rate unchanged at a record low of 2.5% and it's tipping a period of increased stability to come. On a worldwide front, the RBA is predicting moderate growth with stronger movement in advanced economies. Closer to home, mining is continuing to decline, though there are positive signs that indicate other sectors of our economy are picking up. On an investment front, the bigger firms are waiting to see what will happen, waiting for stronger signs before they commit to significant expansion. The labour market is showing signs of improvement, but it'll be some time before unemployment will drop consistently. Should domestic wages and other costs remain contained, it's expected Australia will stay in the 2-3% target rate of inflation in the next couple of years. The housing market, which did experience significant growth during the last year, is starting to show signs of a slowdown. For the first time in 12 months, dwelling values across the capital cities here showed a monthly fall, dropping by 1.9% in May, as shown by RP data. However, McGrath State Agent's CEO John McGrath has said that it's healthy for markets to experience this kind of slowdown in a new growth cycle. He's also said there's no actual material correction to prices and that in some markets, for example close to Sydney's CBD in the under a million dollar bracket, demand has actually increased, although he has noted that a lot of other markets have cooled in this year. He is, however, expecting prices to increase between 5 and 8%. Despite the rate remaining unchanged, there's still strong competition among lenders and discounts among one, two and three year loans are easily achievable. For variable rate loans, you can get a discount of 1% or more. Now is the time to review your loans. If you're paying 5% or more, you may be paying too much. If you want to talk to an expert, call Oxygen today.